What is going on guys, DBG here, and apparently the packs are absolutely juiced. So I'm gonna actually check the market right now to see these cards. I've been away like the past couple of days. I was actually over in London. Unfortunately, I couldn't actually get to the NBA game because tickets were literally 800 pounds for anything decent, which is like one and a half, close enough to one and a half thousand dollars. Actually, no, it's not. It's about $1,200 per ticket. Like it was a game, it was a regular season game. Like, it wasn't even NBA Finals. That's like NBA Finals price, which is crazy. I'm actually going to check to see Diamond and see what price these cards are going for. Okay. Wow, Sam Whiteside is already cheap. Allen Iverson is... Is he, is he under 100k? Wow, these packs look juiced. Is Iverson under 100k? Holy crap, 50k from 95 Whiteside! There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Okay, 48k for Whiteside, and I'd say Iverson will be 100k some stage. Let's look at Whiteside stats. Look at open shot mid. 60 open shot three for Sam Whiteside. What the hell is up with that? But um, he's also got 55 ball control, knock best. Good enough free throw. Unbelievable rebounding. Good lateral quickness. Um, 98 block, 80 steal. On ball defense, like 85. Low post, 95. Speed, 75, which is good. He's got 100 standing and driving, no tendencies. 25k for Hakeem. 30k, like 25k for Hakeem. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Let's see his stats. 97, 94. Hall of Fame rim protector drop step round up and under specialist. He's got an open shot mid of 88, open shot three of 63. Free throw of 80. He's got good rebounding stats, good lateral quickness, not a great steal, great block. Um, He's got good enough speed of 70. Let's see what his post game is like. He has got... 97 post fadeaway, 94 post hook, or 95 post fadeaway, 97 post hook. Where I read that from, I don't know, but um, yeah, this card looks like a beast. So, I'm guessing all this has done is push the price of his dark collections down, meaning it's probably cheaper to buy Dr. J and get Dirk Nowitzki now, and to get that, um, I don't even know. But apparently these packs are juiced, and a lot of people are saying that 10 pack boxes are the way to go. So I'm going to open, I'm going to say, I'll open two, and if I get something good, I'll open a third. Alright, so let's see. First pack. Like we've yet to pull and oh no, we pulled one amethyst caramel on, I think. I think we pulled one, one amethyst caramel on. Gold cards all go for 500 coins this year. Straight up, like no gold card has any value at all. At least the gold of stars were really rare last year. We got nothing again. Ugh, this mightn't be good. There's a couple of sapphire historic players that may in a if there's none of these added in a couple of weeks, could end up being alright. Um, nothing there. We are. Honestly, not been good so far. Brian Grant, gold, gold, and is that three golds, I think? In a row, yeah, we got Drazen. Uh, that's the first time it's not a gold, anyway. It's a silver Rashawn Holmes. Not great, not great at all. It is a diamond, and it's a coach. <laughs> oh, troll. Troll. Oh, actually, no, it might be a coach. It might be a shoe. Is that a good shoe? Plus nine driving dunk, plus nine open shot mid. That is a good enough shoe. That is a good diamond shoe. I'll take it. I will take it. Not bad at all. Give me back to back diamonds and I'll be happy. Even if it's a shoe, just for the title, being able to put back to back diamonds. Ah, uh, no, I'm colorblind. Maybe it's back to back diamonds, but uh, nah, we had Joe Ingles. Surprise Joe Ingles only a silver after how good he was in the playoffs last year. But, um, Birdman, 500 MT. Not good. Not good at all. Alright, we're on pack number 8 right now. And we get another Emerald. Probably 500 MT. Emeralds are so worthless in this year's game. Because at least last year they had a discard value of like 750. And you could get something out of them. Now you can't get anything out of Emeralds. Like, you can get nothing out of them. Let's see, we've got two more packs left. People talking about how juicy these packs are. We've yet to pull anything above an emerald. And we just pulled Sam Decker. I like Sam Decker. But I don't want to pull him in a pack. Like... Is my 2K617 pack look going to keep up? Like, I've pulled one half decent card this year. Which was Dead of Shrimp, And I got 50k from him. That's the only half decent card i pulled this year. Alright. Box number two. Box number two. Like, I gotta get something out of this. Something like... I got nothing better than Emerald. Like, I got a diamond shoe. Fair. Fair. I got a diamond shoe. That was a great card, but that is about it. 
So hopefully we can get something. Just anything half decent. Silver or bronze? And we pulled Tim Frazier. He was good for the Pelicans for a little bit last year. That was about it. <laughs> oh, current cards. You really just don't want to get as far away from current cards as possible. I think the best I can get is a gold here. Brian Shaw, 500 MT. <laughs> like, this is bad. Silvers and bronzes. Why are people talking about how juice these boxes are? We got, did we get two Tim Frazier's and three packs? Like, there's like 450 potential NBA cards. And so many other potential historic cards. We had the same card, two and three backs. Odds of that are extremely small. Shelvin, man, like, we get something. Just give me something. No, we got nothing. We're still getting nothing. Backs are a scam. Backs are a scam. <laughs> People talk about juice, these backs are. I can't pull anything. Like, literally nothing. Marco Bellinelli. <laughs> I'm getting nothing at all. Not even a Marco Bellinelli card like last year's Ruby. We've still pulled nothing. Those Jordan shoes look really cool, but like Jody Meeks. It's shaking, is it? Is that shaking? It is. Oh, I think we got a diamond. I think we got a diamond. I think we got a diamond. No, that was shaking. I could swore I was shaking. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we got another diamond shoe. Oh, that's a curry shoe. Oh, that's a great diamond shoe, though. That is a great diamond shoe. I'll take that. We got two diamond pulls in this two boxes. So I'm gonna open a third box anyway. A great, great diamond shoe right there. And we got Sean Livingston. I am freaked. I am freaked. <laughs> like, I could have swore that that was shaking. Be clutch, and we get an emerald. We have yet to get a player better than an emerald. Jeremy Lin, that's 500 at T. Okay, we're gonna go one more 10 pack box, and that's it, one more. Because we did get a diamond shoe, which is probably worth as much as the Sam Whiteside, if not more than the Sam Whiteside, so, like, we did all right, I guess. Like, we, but we've yet to put a player more than an emerald. I've never seen that before. I, I can't tell the difference between ruby and bronze, so we could end up pulling a ruby and I don't know it, but we get Alfred Baton. Like, this could honestly be the worst pack opening players wise in history. And we can't even get a Sapphire. We can't even get a Sapphire card. Like, at least Sapphire historics tend to be a bit rare. We can't even get a Sapphire. We can't even get a Sapphire. Like, Andrew Harrison. Andrew Harrison. Like, come on. All bronzes and a silver. Wow, we got a guy from the Celtics that I can't pronounce his name. The French guy. Um, emeralds! Can we just get a ruby or a sapphire? Or an amethyst or a diamond? Just anything that is not a gold, silver, bronze or emerald. Come on, like. This pack opening is, on, more, is the guts of 50 euro. The guts of 50 euro I'm spending. And you can't even give me anything. At least in NBA Live, you're guaranteed something. Like, I know it's the same, you're seeing the same teams over and over again in NBA Live, but at least you're guaranteed something. You're guaranteed the legends. Like, people complain that the cards aren't rare enough. I can't pull anything. <laughs> like, you can't pull anything in this game. You cannot pull anything. That's a bronze or a silver again. Georgius Papianis. Like, gotta admit, I do like Europeans, but like, I don't want them in game. Could this be the worst box in history? Salah Mary. I don't even, I think I'm badly mispronounced his name. This is the worst box in history. Dwayne Denman. What? This has to be a joke. I spent the guts of 50 euro on this pack opening. Oh, 2K. Why? Why do you not give me any luck? Why do you choose everyone else's back odds but mine? But, oh, that was, that was bad. That was really, really bad. I don't even, like, I'm lost for words there, how bad that pack opening was. We didn't even get a Sapphire player. Oh, we opened three boxes. Three boxes, we're not even a Sapphire. But anyway, let's just, just calm it down. It's 2K logic. 
2K logic. 2K logic isn't... Okay. Just, just cap, cap, cap. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.